Hi friends, we will learn about SQLite 3. This is a command line uh, ma database management tool for our SQLite database. It is portable and you can easily use this to manage our SQLite database. Now using this, we can also in integrate it with various applications and using this we will learn also various SQLite functions and its uses. We will create table and manage this entire database with various built-in functions and queries. So before we move, my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we are adding new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Let's start learning SQLite 3. Visit this URL sqlite.org and download page. So you will get lot of options here and based on your operating system and what you are using, you have to download it. We are searching for SQLite 3 at the application tool. So for me in a Windows platform, this one is what is required. Now this contains three files. Actually that is SQLite 3, the tool which we will be using and SQLite diff.exe file and SQLite 3 analyzer.exe file. So I will be downloading the, this particular zip file. I extracted all the three application files and store it inside my uh, portable hard disk or it's a pen drive only so or you can keep it in c drive or whatever wherever and the advantage of keeping it in a removable disk is you can carry it with anywhere and it is it works that is the biggest advantage here so these three files you can see i kept it inside my sqlite 3 directory i click the windows start button came here and type command prompt i got the command prompt here yeah, I can, I will navigate to E drive. So it is E because my application is in the E drive. So I am in my E drive. This is actually a removable disk or a pen drive only. Now I am going to my particular that location, CD change directory, my SQLite 3. So this is where I have stored it. So I have gone there. Now my application is SQLite 3. So I will directly light so the exe file so directly I will give the command now let's see now this is opens my application I can now I am ready you see the prompt has also changed now I am ready to use my SQLite 3 for all my database management first we will learn two commands so how to quit the application so any this command I give it this predefined commands I have to start with a dot now I will say quit now it has come out of the application is closed. Now to start it again, I will say again SQLite 3. I just press the up arrow so the previous all commands from the prompt will come there. So I need not type it again. So again I am in the back in this. So I, as I told you I had, uh, there are set of commands are available. How I will know what are the set of commands. So for that next we will learn is help. Dot help I have written. Now enter. Now here are all the commands what this application supports are available here you can go through all this we'll we'll try to cover as much which are frequently used we'll see how backup all these things will uh, how we will uh, download a table or a import a table export a table create table all the common things we'll learn i can use exit command also to come out of the application let me try that yeah, I have out of it. Now I can use remove all the prompt CLS. So I am at the top. We'll start the our tool SQLite 3. We are inside it. Now first we'll create a database. If the database is already there, then we will open it. So otherwise, and we'll try to open it inside our here. You can see the behind this command prompt. We have a our Windows Explorer. So e inside that my DB inside this directory, we are creating our database. So for that, we'll say open. Now the path I am giving. So I am saying e e drive. Now what is the directory? Is my DB. Then I am saying my student db this is the database file the extension you can change it also i am giving it dot db extension now let's press enter and watch at the top of this behind this particular point you can see this will create me the database so here it is now this database is created here this is a blank database and it is connected if you have been there already it will just give a connection to that now what i can see is tables 
so this command will return me the tables inside this database but this is a fresh new database so no table exists now let's create a data uh, create a table inside this database so i am saying create table now best thing is to use if not exist otherwise it will generate error message if the table is already existing if not is a good practice because though we know there is no table but it is a good practice to use it always now what is the table name i am creating i am creating student now what i am going to give you the inside this what are the columns i will create now i'm coming here now inside this i am inside this first id column now id and this column is integer and this is a primary key so i i want that that should be a primary key so 1 2 3 4 we'll discuss more about that then my next column is uh, name now this should be text here i am in one line i am writing best rest of the things class then this is should be also text then mark mark should be integer now then i will have gender this also should have text now here it ends so i am using a semicolon here what's this i have used a semicolon that means my query ends there let's run this so it is there is no error that means this table is created now you may say that okay fine now what is the how i will know what is the uh, how the table is created is there any way i want to know fine that we can see so we'll say that dot c a c me schema now what happens i'll give student no sorry this is this is sql is not sql so no need to give a semicolon here i am printing now this gives me back what i have the student table schema so create table student id integer primary key name text class so this i can copy and use it again also so this is how i will create the table now once the table is created i can check it what is the data is there but there is no data we are not stored anything in this so now let's insert a data so we are saying insert into student student is our table name now what i will insert i will let me give the column names id then name then class then mark then gender these are the column names i have specified in the same sequence i will give my values also now in these values i will put the same sequence so i am giving one one is a id column it is now the name because it's a string so i am using quotes here now the class class is 4 i am giving now the mark mark column is 75 because it's a integer i am not using quotes here then i am saying female this ends and because it's a query sql so i am using colon here now i will enter it fine there is no problem now whether it has gone inside or not now what i am saying i am using a select query select star star means all the columns from student now i ending with a semicolon so because it's a our sql so enter now you see it has given me one all the details it has given me now what happens there are different ways i can set the mode of it different ways i can get it so now what i will do i'll just give a mode command here mode means the how the output the output is in the format of a list now let me just change the mode to column mode is column now fine it now the mode i have changed it so now what will happen let me just run the query again i am pressing the up arrow key so the previous commands will automatically i can browse now let me select star from student see the output now id this is a column names also it has given these are we'll discuss more about the mode subsequently that's all friends hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and this will continue further and we will learn how we will take data from various sources like a excel file or csv file using sqlite 3 how we will create the tables in our sqlite database and more also we will learn about different different functions what the sqlite 3 gives us to use it in our applications before we move 
My request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. And if you have any doubts, suggestions, queries, use the comment section below to post it. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.